I spent a good part of this day working on the uh, fourth rail car to my cover armor train. And, um, you know, as I do it, I, you know, I realized I stopped buying the vintage vehicles because I was, I was buying them. And I, you know, the, the last two or three vehicles I bought, I looked at them closely and just realized that the designers, they weren't vested in it like the fans were. Uh, Hasbro has such an opportunity to make money off of all of us grown-ups who are trying to, you know, get our childhood back. But we need worth, you know, for the dollars that we spend. You know, I, I you know, I think that that the classifieds are they're, they're really well sculpted but how many times can you present us with a stalker or a roadblock or a alley viper to just man just give us some vehicles give us some new vehicles i'm, I'm telling you the fans would spend money i know i would i'm a professional i have a checkbook but you know i went on to start making my own stuff and for instance, this, I mean, you know, I've worked on this train all day and these are, you know, that's, that's my, you know, that's my plane that I built. It's all out of cardboard. I, I just know there's so many of us out there that who just are trying to get our childhood back, but give us something new, man. And I don't mean a re-release of the goddamn Rattler and I don't mean painted it like Tiger Force or anything that's, oh God, Tiger Force pisses me off. Um, just man, give us some stuff. If I had the means, I'd give the stuff. But I'm not a manufacturer. I'm just a creator. I know there's people out there like me. I'm connecting with them. You know, this is just a small piece of my work. This is just what I'm, you know, I'm currently doing. Oh well, well, you know, Hasbro, thank you for the great memories as a child. And I would give you more dollars now, but it won't be for classifieds. But I would give you more dollars.